Hey guys, I got some great comics today at the Dollar Show. Let's see what I got. Hey ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. All right, so today was the Chud Show. Chud stands for Comics Hundreds Under a Dollar. I mean, there's really a thousand, there's thousands of books, but I guess that sounded better than Chud, I guess. <laughs> anyway guys, um, if you ever have a dollar show in your area, go to it. I found some awesome books that are worth way more than a dollar. Let's see what I got today. Okay, I couldn't resist buying this deal. Star Wars, The High Republic, number one, fifth print. I should say it right there if you can see it. I got 20 copies. I know they need to be bagged. I'll take care of that in a minute. But um, these were 20 copies for $15. This book has the first appearance of Avar Chris, and I think two other uh, first appearance characters. Um, I think this is a really good book to get. Any Star Wars first appearance book that's coming out that's new, I can't recommend enough to get them. I'm buying them, and whenever I see a deal like this, I will jump on this all day long. This is, you know, this book here, which was a first print, but I'll take whatever I can get. Then I found this one for a dollar. Kingpin number one. This is purely a cover buy. I'm probably gonna read it. I thought it was neat. You know, we're gonna see the Kingpin more in the future. You know, you have Elektra, Daredevil, and Bullseye right here. These are all the main players in the Daredevil verse. So, you know, for a buck, sure, why not? Web of Spider-Man 48. A book that I didn't really, never really cared about, but it is the first appearance of the Demogoblin. Will we ever see his character? This would be a, this would be a stretch, and I don't know, but for a dollar, first Demogoblin. We'll probably see him in the animated verse, Will you ever see them live action? I don't know. I found this one in the dollar bin too. Detective Comics 871, second print. I like the red actually. Anyway, this is the first appearance of James Gordon Jr. as an, uh, an adult. And also turned out to be a serial killer. This is also the writing debut of Scott Snyder in Detective Comics. So for a buck and a great cover, I'm a, it, I believe it's a jock cover, I think. So, you know, anything he does is really good. Okay, now we I found this cool book right here. Avengers versus X-Men number seven. Yeah. Anyway, this is the uh, issue where um, Namor declares war in Wakanda, I believe. Yeah, or either that or he's sending waves to try to destroy Wakanda. This book is on the rise. You see this one for a cover or less. You should probably get it because there's a rumor that this might actually be something we see in the MCU. So this book right now, I think it's going for about $15 or so, I believe. So if you see this book, this is probably, this might be a good spec. Hey, if you ever consider selling a comic collection, you might want to consider Infinity Comics. They'll buy collections, large or small, and sometimes individual books. And if you do contact them, tell me your pal Rob sent you. Okay, here's an odd one I found. The Mighty Thor, issue two. And this is a second print. And this is the first appearance of the War Witches. And also this is the issue where Loki joins the Dark Council. I haven't read it yet. I think I heard about this book, but I'm not sure what it's quite about. Anyway, this is worth probably five to $10. You know, it's a good spec, hard to say, but for a buck, I couldn't pass it up. Here's a cool cover. This is Astonishing X-Men number three. And this is the first cameo appearance of Abigail Brand. She is an agent of S.W.O.R.D. And I believe either this one or issue six is the first cameo or mention of S.W.O.R.D. So anyway, great cover. This goes for about $10. It was hot at one time. I think it's cooled off a little bit. We haven't heard anything from S.W.O.R.D. or her yet, but this book is probably gonna be an excellent spec if you can find it for, you know, like five bucks or so. 
and I recommend this is a good spec. And also, kind of a really cool cover. I found this little gem right here. Ultimate X number one. The first appearance of Jimmy Hudson. I'm assuming one of Wolverine's kids, who later on becomes Ultimate Wolverine. I'm buying any new Wolverine character, whether it be X-23, Wild Thing, or Dakin. Um, we're gonna see one of these characters in the future. How soon, who knows. But I think having these books, buying for a dollar especially, that's an easy buy. All right, I found these too. Shadow Man 1, Valiant. Early 90s, pre -Unity. I've always loved this cover. For a dollar a piece, I'll buy these all day long. Wish I found more of these, but I was happy to find these. Wish I found a Harbinger or two. Harbinger 1 would be great to find too, but I'm happy to find this. This is a good spec. I don't know, the Valiant Universe, we've already seen Bloodshot, it didn't do that well. Are we ever gonna see Shadow Man? Uh, I don't know. If your comics need to be pressed, I recommend Basement Comics. I've used them for a long time. They've been around for years. They have a fast turnaround time. And if you do contact them, tell them Rob sent you. Okay, this book here I think is actually a pretty good spec. Angela, Asgard Assassin number one. This is the first appearance of Sarah. And Sarah is Angela's lover. So Angela is supposed to come to the MCU sometime in the near future. When, I don't know, but we're probably gonna see Sarah. So you see this book for a cover. This book just shouldn't be that much. This book shouldn't be more than, you know, five or $10. It's probably worth picking up. I think it's probably gonna be a good spec if we see her. Okay, I managed to find this one right here. This one's an oddball one. This one I've been looking for for actually over a year. Aliens versus Terminator versus Predator. Get issue one. Obviously issue number two. Issue three. And issue four. Okay, ladies and gents. So I'm looking online to see what these actually go for. I know they're not cheap. These were, you know, four dollars for four copies. This goes for between 150 and 200 plus raw for a set. I looked online and according to the app, this is a low print run book. It's also pretty cool. It was so cool, I even did a poll in my um, community section of who would win, Alien, Predator, or Terminator. And I think people said that the Terminator would win, which I haven't read the story yet. If you see this one in a dollar bin, one through four, or even one, this book alone goes for between goes for almost 100 bucks by itself, which is incredible. You see this? This is a really good um, book, and also, it'd be cool to see this in a movie, but because since Marvel owns Aliens, it's probably not gonna happen, but it's still a good story. Hey, I hope you guys liked the video. I will be seeing you soon.